Hey guys, it's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor, and today we're gonna be painting a pumpkin cutout. Now this one doesn't have any lines uh, scored or etched in the surface. Um, some of you guys call it engraving. I always call it etching. Um, but a lot of our designs that you purchase in our shop do have the lines on them. So if you want one with lines, those are available too. I just had some extra pumpkins in the attic and this one didn't happen to have any lines on it. And so today we're gonna be doing something a little different. Normally on Tuesdays when I come and paint live with you guys, let's go ahead and start painting our pumpkin. I need an egg carton to put my paints in. And we're not gonna do it orange. We're not gonna do it orange. We're gonna do it something else. I'm thinking maybe like a, like a, my chair is so squeaky, like a, a minty green. What do you think? Do you think, a bit, think that'd be good? Sage mint, that's a good color. Should we do our pumpkin like this? Same tech teaching style as you, easy and relaxed. Cindy is so much fun to be around. She is part of our creative club when we all go to the beach together and stuff, and she's a lot of fun. So she, yes, she's a great teacher, very relaxed, easy going. I would recommend her to anybody. I'm trying to pick out a, a teal sort of color. Let's try this one, it's called Open Water. So we got Sage Mint and Open Water. These are both Deco Art Americana paints which by the way, if you need to purchase DecoArt paints, um, I did put my affiliate link up in the description. You can shop directly from their website. And I don't know if you guys know it, but right now, all of their stencils are 70% off. I don't know if all of them, a lot of their stencils. They're having a stencil sale, a stencil palooza, if you will. Um, can you paint mason jars with acrylic paint? Um, they actually sell glass paint on the DecoArt website. So I would check that out. I don't know about using regular acrylic paint on glass. I have not done that. But I'm just, I have drawn my little lines on this pumpkin with a ch piece of chalk. And I'm just gonna go, oh, there's a hair. I'm gonna go ahead and paint inside each of the chalk lines to kind of keep the sections of my pumpkin looking separated. I really gotta get a new chair. This chair is about to drive me batty. I don't even know if y'all can hear it squeaking, but it feels very loud on my end and it's driving me crazy. All right, I'm gonna dip the corner of my brush in a little bit of that uh, open water blue. And I'm just gonna use it sort of as a shadow color on the edges of my paint here. That's pretty, so pretty. These colors are lovely together. Let me show you what we got. That's, that's a little harsh. I think I may blend that, that blue out a little bit. Kind of go back and forth like I'm sweeping the floor and blend it out. That's a little better. Look how pretty. Um, yes, you can use acrylic paint on glass, um, but tons of coats and it looks streaky. Okay, that's from somebody on TikTok answering your question. Um, she said, I love the idea of using an egg carton. Yes, I use an egg carton all the time to hold my paint. Um, it's nice because the foam of the egg carton keeps the paint from drying out quickly. And I like that it keeps all the colors in a nice, neat little puddle. I feel like because of that, I don't use as much paint as I would if I were using like a foam plate or a paper plate and the paint's spreading out and then you're trying to like scoop the paint up. I feel like I probably use less paint because of the egg carton. All right, picking up just a little bit of that blue on the corner of my brush again. And while this green is still wet, we're just gonna shade that on just on the outside just the outside and this is what we get you love the colors i've picked thank you amanda um has anybody else painted pumpkins yet are y'all in the fall painting mood i certainly am i am ready for fall the only problem is is i have not taken the time to decorate my house with all my fall decorations so i really need to just set aside time and make that happen I'm trying to be careful as I go around here not to paint over that nice little blue shaded line that I made. So just be careful when you do that, not to cover it up. Just to go alongside it. There we go. Now pick up a little bit of blue on the corner. Keep that corner to the outside and just pull it on around. Hang on, I think I'm gonna rotate my pumpkin here. Get a little bit more blue. Pull it on around 
the edge of your pumpkin. I'm gonna fix that spot because I kind of got outside the lines there. And I'm gonna get a little bit more of this sage mint because there's a little couple spots where I didn't get it thick enough. Right in the centers. Squeaky chair! <laughs> you did the pumpkin door hanger this weekend. Oh, good. Is it de teal or green? Both. <laughs> it's called sage mint. And then the blue I'm using is called open water. You probably can't even see that color because it, well, you kind of can. It kind of blends with the egg carton. So the color, two colors together, kind of make this really nice, soft teal green. It's real pretty. Uh, Monica says, I've been using unicorn brushes also. Ooh, where did you get those? Yeah, Charlie would love to help decorate. She's all about it. When I start getting the pumpkins out, she's like, ah! <laughs> she gets so excited. She likes, wants to touch them. She wants to play with them. She wants to move them around and redecorate. So it's hard, once I get the stuff out, it's hard to keep everything in the same spot. You love those colors together? They were sage, mint, and open water. Open water. Again, going being real careful going along the edge of this pumpkin spot to make sure I don't cover up the pretty teal that I did on the other one. I'm just going right beside it. make sure you get a good coverage on this first coat because when you do the shading you kind of can't go back and do another coat without covering up what you've already shaded so you kind of have to get it right the first time pick up a little bit of the blue we're going to shade it on the outside that was a lot of blue let's blend it out that's better and you kind of want to bring the shading down down here too. So I'm gonna put a little bit more down here and try to blend it upwards. I accidentally got a little bit over onto that pumpkin. It's real difficult to just not get it all over the place. And I think I, I missed out over here doing a little bit of blue next to the bottom. So I'm gonna go back in and add that. Gotta dampen my brush a little bit because that green is already drying. My brush is probably a little too big. I probably need to swap brushes. Okay, I'm gonna swap brushes. Get a smaller, smaller one. Let's see. We'll use this one. No, not that one. <laughs> this one, no, not that one. Let's try this one. It's a flat tip brush also, but it's a whole lot smaller. Got a little bit of dried paint on it. I think Charlie's been in here pilfering in my brushes. Um, you're watching me as you paint. What are you painting, Melissa? Good morning, Karen. <laughs> you are so fun. I love this. Oh, thank you, Kristen. Gives it a great depth. Yes, I think so too. So we're gonna pick up some of the um, sage mint again, and I'm gonna go back and get this little area right here at the top of my pumpkin. We're just filling it in with the sage mint first. Get it nice and covered. And then we're gonna pick up a little bit of that open water with the corner of our brush. And keeping that corner on the outside, we're only gonna shade the outer edge that's not next to the other color. It's looking good so far. Hi, Jana. how are you, girl? Hadn't seen you on here in a while. Has Facebook been hiding me from you? It's very possible. If you feel like you haven't been seeing me in your feed, it's probably because Facebook is, you know, changing up the algorithm and you just aren't seeing me as much. So if you don't want to miss a thing, what you can do is go to my Facebook page and up at the top, there's a little button that says following. If you tap on it, it'll give you an option to click see first. And if you click that, then you will see me first in your newsfeed. Like every time you log on, if I have anything new, that will pop up at the top. And so it kind of makes sure that you don't miss anything important. Um, you love how I give step-by-step -step instructions. I sure try. Sometimes I feel like I'm not making any sense, but I'm glad that you, you guys find it helpful for sure. Um, 
Hi, Paula, PC sister. How many of you guys are excited and planning on signing up for the Procreate course September 27th? If you have not gotten your name on our wait list for that yet, I did put the link up above for you all. Um, it starts September 27th. It's a self-guided course. So if you're gonna be busy that week, don't worry about it. You can go back and watch the videos whenever you feel you like you have the time to sit down and actually follow the instructions because it's completely self-guided. You can go through it uh, whenever you feel like it. And it's for beginners, for those people who have downloaded that Procreate app and then you feel stumped. You're like, I don't even know what to do first. Can we order the pumpkin? Yes, you can get it at shopdoorhangers.com. Um, it won't appear right there at the top, so you'll probably have to use the search bar over in the menu and type in pumpkin, wood pumpkin or pumpkin blank, something like that, and it'll come right up. Okay, here's what we got so far. I'm loving it. Hey, Texas fan. Um, looking beautiful. The glasses really bring out your eyes. Aw, thank you. You're a sweetheart. Oh, that's my husband. Y'all, my husband just commented on a tick, tick, tick tock live. Can you tell how, how like thrown that got me? I'm like, some guy is hitting on me on my tick tock video. <laughs> I realized it said Michael Bennett. That's my husband. Thank you, sweetie. That's so funny. He's my biggest tick tock fan. Uh, we laugh whenever I hear like my, my videos come up on his feed because I'm always like, well, TikTok wouldn't show them to you if you didn't keep continually like stop and watch them. <laughs> uh, so you must like what you see. Will we get an email before the 27th for the Procreate class? I'm waiting. I'm on the waiting list. Yes, you will. So on the 27th, you'll get a, um, an email reminder um, that will remind you that the course is now available. You can go go join and once you sign up for it, it's a one-time payment and then you'll have access to the class. And there are six modules in the class, so you can walk through those however fast or slow you want. You can revisit them because goodness knows there is a lot to learn about Procreate and it can be kind of intimidating. So if you get in there and you're like feeling like you, um, feeling like you uh, can't remember what it was we talked about in module one, of course you can go right back and revisit that. I'm dampening my brush just a little bit. This blue was not spreading like I wanted it to. Okay, one more little section of our pumpkin and then we can paint the stem and then we can start the resin, which is the fun part, if I'm honest. We're gonna, we're gonna do some fun stuff today with this resin. I'm excited about it. How much is the course? It's $97. Painters Clubhouse members will get 20% off. I'm gonna use this blue to kind of shade right there next to the, the stem and then also up along the outer edge. Okay, what do you think? Looks so cool, doesn't it? Hi, Mammy, hello. Hello, Kayleen. You love this color? Uh, the colors, once again, are sage mint and open water. We only use two colors to create this design. Hey, Cindy. So Cindy is the one I was talking about that teaches how to use resin and glass. I actually purchased the glass directly from her on her website, and I used her link in Amazon to go get the resin. Um, and so this, it comes with two little bottles here and we're only gonna use just a little bit of it. Cindy, if you um, have any guess, this blank is about 10 inches across. How much resin would you mix for this? Like an ounce, one ounce? I don't know. I need, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to grab anything that would measure how many ounces? I might, I might have to go get like a little medicine cup out of Charlie's bathroom to measure the resin because you have to get the measurements of the resin just right. Like they have to be perfectly mixed and I don't wanna goof that part up. These are your favorite colors. <laughs> Me too, Crystal, I think they're so pretty. I do love an orange pumpkin, but I really like this one too. You would have shaded it on the other side of the stem. Oh, like right here? Do you mean I should have, should have shaded it like right here? Maybe so. I don't know. We're going to leave it. <laughs> We're 
we're gonna, we're gonna leave it. Um, so this brown is called Sable Brown. I may add a little bit of a darker brown too for a little bit of shading on the stem. We're just gonna fill it in with this color first. There we go. Make sure I get it covered real good. Okay, now I'm gonna take, I'm not even gonna squirt any of this out. I'm just gonna dip my brush in the corner, the corner of my brush in some of this espresso brown. It's just a darker brown. And whoop, I didn't wanna shade this side. What am I doing? Let's shade this side. So since I didn't wanna do that side, I'm just gonna wisp it away, blend it in so that you can't see it. A little bit more. I blended it almost too well and then it started to disappear on me. Okay, I kinda like that. Yes, I am using Americana paints from DecoArt. You can get them on their website. Um, and you can use a code, uh, let's see, I think it's Southern 20 to save 20% on their website. So there's our stem. Aw, oh, thank you, Samantha. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this really well. Oh, I see a teeny spot that I missed with the with the paint. I'm just gonna dab some on there. I don't think that was very good though because <laughs> now I'm gonna have to add a little bit of, well, I don't know, now that it's drying, you can't tell. Hi, Diane. Hello, Rosie. Hello, y'all watching on TikTok. Are you guys crafters? If so, what do you like to craft? What do you make? All right, so here's our pumpkin. Look how cute. I'm gonna put down some cardboard because we need to protect our workspace. And I don't want any of the resin dripping on the table. You love my hair, thank you. Uh, and I'm also gonna take this old pie tin because I got a million of these things laying around. And I'm just gonna put it under my pumpkin. This will ensure that when the resin starts to drip, it can't like stick to the pumpkin. You just need to make sure that there's not any areas where it can drip and stick. You want it to just drip straight off. All right, if you guys will hold for about 10 seconds, I'm gonna run and grab a, um, like a, a medicine cup that can measure ounces <laughs> because I have to have something to measure this resin. I'll be right back. Okay. I just needed something that had little markings on it. <laughs> that had little markings on it so that I could measure how much of what I'm using here. Um, okay. And this has markings by milliliter. So, so what we need to do first, I guess, before we even, I'm trying to remember, because Cindy taught us all this at the beach when we were on our little girl's trip. She said, place all your resin, all your glass first. One ounce should be enough. Okay, good, thank you, Cindy. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get out some of this pretty clear glass. And I purchased this from Cindy at Art Shattered. And I'm just gonna start kind of placing it in some of the areas. Um, that I want the glass to be. I don't know what that's gonna be yet. I'm kinda, it's just kind of open to interpretation. But I thought it might be kinda cool if it was kind of going up along the top and then also along the bottom. Whoop. So while, but while there's no resin on here, we're gonna get our glass placed. If you guys wanna learn how to do this, Cindy is the master and teacher of how to do all of this. You guys can sign up for her workshop. I believe it started yesterday, but you can probably still get caught up or watch it at any time, even if you can't participate right now. Okay, I need some, there we go. Let's just use this at the bottom of it. My fingers, I feel like, are too clumsy to arrange this glass how I want it. Can you guys see this? Let me see if I can. Pull it back a little bit, maybe you can see it. 
Are you, uh, are you only going to resin right on the glass, not on the whole piece? No, we're going to resin on the whole piece. But Cindy did tell us, like, the more glass you use, I guess that, that means you need more resin because the glass kind of has to go between the resin. Is that right? I mean, sorry. The resin has to go between the glass. Let's just dump some of these on here. I'm, I'm too impatient for something this tedious. Where did the pumpkins come from? Helen, I sell these in my shop. It's just the pumpkin cutout that we have in our shop. This was just an extra one that I had um, up in the attic from our event that we did in Nashville a couple years ago. Can't believe that was a couple years ago now. It's crazy. Um, let's see. I'm just going to move some of this. I kind of want it kind of going up on each part of the pumpkin. So I'm just going to kind of try to arrange this. I'm just using the bottom of my paintbrush to push the glass around. I feel like I have no clue what I'm doing here. So for those of you who are a little intimidated by this, just know that I am too. And Cindy made it seem so, like we, when we did it with her at the beach, it was way easier than I ever thought it would have been. I never would have guessed it was that easy. And so now I feel empowered to do it on my own. And so here I am with you guys. Fill in those little gaps. Let's see, instead of having it trail up right there, what if I have it trail up right over here? I kind of wanted it to kind of trail up and down from the top and the bottom, but not really meet in the middle. I kind of like that. I feel like it needs a little bit more. Thank you, kitty. Oh, we don't need to be dropping glass in the floor. I just dropped some in the floor. Some of these are like some nice chunky little pieces. I said I wasn't gonna use a ton of glass, but I keep adding more and more, so who knows. Let's see, do I like that? I kinda like that. I don't wanna go overboard. Maybe, maybe I don't put it right next to the stem. Maybe I just need to make it go out. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. Maybe two or three more pieces trailing down right there. Okay, what do y'all think? I know y'all really can't see it as well as I can. But let me see if I can rotate it around so you can look at it. What do you think? So when this is when we pour the paint or the pour, paint, when we pour the resin on here, this is clear glass. So you'll still be able to see all of my paint lines underneath this glass. Um, and I may have to like go live tomorrow to show you guys the finished piece because the resin will take 24 hours to dry. So you guys. Um, won't really get to see exactly what it looks like until tomorrow, but, um, okay. Looks good. No more, Claire. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to find a quitting spot. We're going to zip the bag of, of glass up. And look, I only used like a third of that little bag. So I've still got plenty more for more projects. All right. So we're going to use our little measure thing here. And I guess as long as I use the same amount when I pour, it doesn't matter if it's exactly an ounce or not resin and then hardener okay so I guess we're just gonna start with the resin one. Oh, Tamara almost forgot we gotta have gloves Cindy was in the back of my head saying girl don't forget your gloves <laughs> is this recording yes it is recording so if you guys are on TikTok right now and you missed the part uh, or if you're on Facebook for that matter and you missed the part where um, we were painting the pumpkin at the beginning and you want to go back and watch it, you'll be able to watch the replay on Facebook or you can go to YouTube. I'm going to upload it there when this is over. So you'll be able to watch the replay there also. Let's pull these gloves way up over my Apple Watch because you know I'm messy. I'm probably going to get this on everything. We got gloves. Okay, we're ready. Where did I buy the glass? Cindy sells it in her shop at Art Shattered. Um, you could show your beach piece for now. That's true, Bonnie. When this is over, if you will remind me, I will go grab it. It is in the kitchen and we will, okay, so I'm going to mix it in here. I'm going to measure here, pour here, and mix here. Um, I'll bring it in here and you guys can see it. Okay, here we go. So we're starting with measuring our resin. Alright, I'm 
I'm just going to measure it to the line, that line on the cup. I don't know if this will be a full ounce or not, but we'll see. And I'm just using a little popsicle stick to scrape the sides and get it all in my little cup. Okay, now put the lid on this. Now we're gonna pour in the hardener. And when these two things, do I have a different bigger cup? I don't think I'm gonna need a bigger cup, do you? I mean, this it really is only filling about a quarter of it so far. But yeah, I probably did have a bigger cup. But you mean a bigger cup than this? I don't know. Tamara just goes live and she doesn't really plan ahead. So resin is probably not the thing she needs to be doing on Facebook Live since she's not a plan ahead kind of gal. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about myself in the third person. You need to measure in two separate cups then mix together. Whoops. Told you, Cindy needs to be here to hold my hand while I do this. I don't really know what I'm doing. So if this don't turn out, I'm not gonna blame Cindy, but I'm gonna blame Tamara for not reviewing the instructions beforehand. Okay, now we got it all in one cup and we're stirring. <laughs> Leah said, oh Lord, and Shan and I are not with her. No, it's the paper cup that concerns you, but it should be fine. Oh, I have a plastic cup. Should I transfer it to a plastic cup? Waiting patiently on Cindy's reply. If you think I need to put it in a paper cup, I will. I mean, in a plastic cup, I will. <laughs> Why not? You are fun to watch no matter what you do. Exactly. This could be a complete flop, but at least you've been entertained. It's fine the way I'm doing it. Okay, Angela says it's fine. I don't know if Angela knows much about this, but we're going to take her word for it since we're already doing it. Um, you never knew that you could use resin on a piece without taller sides on it. Uh, yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff. Okay, everybody's saying paper cup is fine. I don't know. How long do I need to stir this? Does it matter? Oh, three minutes. That's right. Some, somebody set a timer for me. Hey, Siri, three minute timer. She didn't hear me. Three minute timer. Series counting for us. So what kind of questions do you guys have? <laughs> Sarah said, OMG, I'm loving this. You're winging it. Always, Sarah. I'm always winging it. Always. Um, Till it's clear or two minutes? Well, it looks clear, but it also looks like it has a lot of bubbles in it. Um, yeah, Tamara wings it with everything she does. I did set the timer. We're good. I completely forgot about the stir for three minutes thing. So I'm so glad some of you guys watching actually know what, how to do this because this is only my second time ever doing this. Do you sell the pre-cut door hangers? Yes, we sell them at shopdoorhangers.com. So if you go there, um, there's a link in my profile. If you're watching on TikTok, if you're watching from Facebook, there's a link in the video description. Just use the, um, the menu bar. There's a search button. Just type in wood uh, or blank pumpkin and you'll find it there. You love the shading on my pumpkin. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Cindy Manley, Manley better guide me. Hey, Brandy. Brandy did this with us at the beach too. Do you just set the glass on the piece so you don't have to glue the glass down? No, you don't have to glue the glass down. I just set it all on here and fi I'm fixing to pour the resin on. Um, as long as you're having fun, we are. I'm always having fun. Yes, heat gun takes out the bubble. I do have a heat gun ready. We're, we're prepared on that front. Where do I get the glass? Cindy Manley sells it at Art Shattered. Is it artshattered.com, Cindy? Put your, put your link in the comments for us, Missy. <laughs> uh, where do you buy the resin? Uh, this came from Amazon. Okay, paper cup is small, or pop, paper cup is okay for smaller quantities, she said. <laughs> your lives make my day. Thank you. That makes my day, knowing that they make yours. Um, you said it needs more glitter. <laughs> we totally could have used glitter paint. Or we could splinker, splinker, we could splinker glitter, we could sprinkle glitter on top of the pumpkin later if we want to. Okay, it's artshattered.com if you guys want to order any glass. I think she also has links there to buy the resin. <laughs> yeah, well, Siri is counting for us. She's got a timer going. When you don't know what we're doing, happy accidents happen. Yes, you never know. 
Maybe use a torch to get the bubbles out. I don't have a torch. Cindy carries a torch, but I do have a heat gun, so I think it'll be fine. Hey, Macon, how are you doing, girl? We have no idea what we're doing. We're just re trying to remember the instructions, and, and Cindy's here live with us, and, and so I do feel like I've got a little bit of somebody to hold my hand in case I do screw this up. Brenda says, I love learning new tricks from you. Thank you. Yes, I am in Kentucky. I'm near Murray, Kentucky. Darlene says, I should be done with the stirring. Where is the timer? Oh, there it goes. It just went off. Okay. So, uh, Cindy taught me that you start by picking up a little bit of the resin on your popsicle stick and you drizzle it over your glass first. That way it has a chance to seep down between the glass and to secure the glass to the board. And then whatever resin we have left in our cup will be used to cover the rest of our pumpkin. So right now I'm just using my little popsicle stick to kind of pick up the resin and we're just drizzling on top of and in between the glass. I can do this, I can do this. I'm not gonna screw this up. And from what I understand, because I was watching Cindy's live yesterday to remind myself how to do some of this, she said, if you didn't mix enough resin, um, you have about 45 minutes from the time you start to mix your resin um, before it starts to harden. So I could quickly mix some more if I need to. So if this is not enough, we will just mix some more and it will all be okay. We're covering up our glass right now. This is going to be so pretty. You love how I just roll with things. That is my entire life's story. I just roll with it. You just never know how Tamara's things are going to turn out. Because, I mean, worst case scenario, we just wasted a little bit of glass, a little bit of wood and resin. It's fine. All right, we've got all of that covered. So now we can kind of start drizzling. I hope I'm doing this right. Uh, we definitely don't need to use all of it if, if I don't, I don't know if we need to use all of it, but there's a little bit more in the cup if I need more. But Cindy always says, don't use, um, don't use a whole lot of resin when a little bit of resin will do. I think I said that right. Uh, you found the pumpkin on the clubhouse page under tutorials. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just using my finger now since I've got a gloved hand here. And we're just kind of tapping and spreading that resin out to completely cover the paint. And then we will get the bubbles out. Just keep spreading. Oops, don't bump the glass. I feel like I need to rotate this sucker to get up in there with the resin. The resin, I think she said, is self-leveling also. So if it's like thicker in one spot or thin than it is in another spot, as it dries, I think it's supposed to self-level. So it'll be okay. You just want to make sure you don't have any spots that aren't shiny because then they're not covered with resin. So I'm just going along the edges here and making sure that there's resin touching every bit of the paint. I'm also checking the comments to make sure Cindy's not yelling at me that I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> How is the smell? Um, barely noticeable. And I mean, I smell it just a tiny bit, but it's not, um, it's not like giving me a headache or anything. It's like hardly there. It's amazing how this clear glass, like you can still see the paint right through it. It's fine. Put a little bit over here. Make sure you got gloves handy before you do this and something to measure with. I should have checked a supply list of sorts before I went live. It's okay, we made it work. I think I got too much resin actually. Like, I mean, there's no, it's fine, it's gonna be fine, but I think I could have gone with less resin, which would have meant that I would have saved resin for another project, but I didn't even use, but like maybe one eighth of, or one-sixth of the resin that was already in those bottles. So I've got plenty more to do more projects. So this, this stuff goes a long way. Could you spread that with a paintbrush or no? Um, then the paintbrush would have resin all over it and your paintbrush would probably be ruined. Not to mention your paintbrush would likely have 
debris in it that could get in the resin and cause little imperfections that we don't want. Okay, now I'm gonna try to look at this dude from all different angles like Cindy taught me. Make sure there's not any areas that are not covered with resin. You kind of just have to lean and look and see if there's any matte spots that don't have resin on the paint. I think we're good. I'm so proud of this. I can't wait to see how it looks at the end. Okay, is it safe to take my gloves off now and just hit it with, hit it with um, the heat gun? Let me kind of wipe the edges just to make sure there's not any like crazy drips. I think we're fine, really. Looks awesome. Thank you, Cindy. Are you like a proud mother over there? <laughs> uh, Pat, if you've just popped on, you can watch, you can get the, um, I still have a little bit of resin left. You can get the, the glass from Cindy Manley at Art Shattered. She also has a workshop you can sign up for. We're going to hit it with a heat gun right now and pop the bubbles. Oh, there they go. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, I just saw a spot where the glass or the resin has not spread over this little spot. Tried to trick me. Um, <laughs> thank you, Cindy. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. You can see the little bubbles popping. This, this heat gun doesn't get as hot as like a torch would. Oh, I see another teeny little spot. Up in the corner, just a tiny one. Some just barely along the edges, there were little spots. Can you use a hairdryer in lieu of a heat gun? If your hairdryer gets super hot, I guess you could. The heat causes the bubbles to pop. but the hairdryer may blow too hard because I can see the resin sort of trying to slide and move around a little bit as I'm spraying this or as I'm blowing this. This heat gun is called a heated craft tool. I can still see the bubbles popping, so I don't know how long I need to do this. Cindy had an actual torch when she did hers, so. I mean, I don't care if I've got a few little bubbles in there, so I don't guess it really matters all that much. But I do, I still feel like I see a little spot where it's not covering or something. There we go. Perfect. Now it looks like glass. So awesome. I'm still seeing a few little bubbles. I don't want to keep doing it too long. So Cindy says I should be good. Okay. Cindy says it's good. It's good. All right. Let's take you off this or, or maybe not off the stand, but let, let me bring you guys a little closer. So you guys can see how gorgeous this is. Look how pretty. I'll show you guys next. <laughs> Look how pretty. So I can't wait to show you guys what this looks like tomorrow, all finished. The only glass we used was the clear glass. Okay, TikTok's turn. You ready to come see? Look how pretty. So the only glass we used was clear glass and then we just used clear resin. And you'll be able to watch the replay to this video on YouTube. Okay, who has questions? I was wearing gloves and I took them off. I did paint this live. You guys can watch it on replay. If you want to get resin, go to artshattered.com. If you want to learn how to do this and take Cindy's uh, workshop, it started yesterday, but you can watch the videos um, anytime. So if you're not too late to sign up, I don't believe. It's only $10 to learn how to do this. 
Um, Cindy walks you through step by step so that you don't mess it up because goodness knows I was terrified to do this and she walked me through it in such an easy to follow way that I was like, okay, I think I can do it. And so um, she's gonna teach you how to do it on canvas with a cute little pumpkin painted and some sunflowers. So um, I've put my link up above. For those of you watching on TikTok, it doesn't allow me to put links um, up in the description. So if you will just DM me if you want the link to it, um, I'll try to uh, send it to each of you guys today so that you can hurry up and get in. It's, it's not any kind of special glass, it's just crushed glass. So if you already have some glass at home, you could probably crush it up and use it. You could also use like little seed beads or something like that if you want to. Um, Cause the resin, whatever you put on here, the resin kind of makes it stay in place. So it's fine. Um, you can use anything. Do we have to cover it while it's curing? I don't believe so. No, we did not cover ours. We just let them sit. Can we see the one you made at the beach? Yes, just a moment. It's in the kitchen. I will grab it. coming back. So this is the one we made at the beach with Cindy. Look how pretty. We just painted the little pumpkins on canvas. Each of us did little different designs. And on this one, I put some like, this is the clear glass. This is some green glass. And this, this is, I think this might have been some bluish reflective glass. And this was gold, green. And then these were some really cool extra pieces that Cindy had that we just attached. And then we poured resin over the whole thing. So super fun project um no we did not have to glue the glass on we just laid the glass in place and then we poured the resin on the glass part first um okay so the link to learn all of this debbie is up in the description of the video you can click it as soon as the video is over <laughs> all right you guys now, if you do this on a door hanger, can you still drill holes for your wire? I would do that before, Ashley. Before you resin it, I would do it before. This is not going to be a door hanger, so it doesn't matter. It'll probably just set on a shelf. What are you going to do with it? Oh, I just answered that question. <laughs> Where did you get your chair? Stephanie, this one's from Walmart, and goodness, it's squeaking a lot, so it's driving me crazy. It takes 24 hours to cure, Joy. So tomorrow, maybe I can do a quick live and hop on and show you guys what it looks like once it's all completed and dried. And you guys can see it. All right. Thank you guys for joining me today. It's going uh, uh, to be so cute. I can't wait to show you. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.